hello, GMGM. GM. Welcome back to the lobby. We're in my basement. My name is Jami, your least favorite host in the NFT space. And this is the lobby, episode four, Spotlight Edition. It's a little unique. We're going to do something a little different today. We're just going to focus on one project. Uh, I recently did a deep dive of the Art Gobblers. I want to say that we're just talking about the project itself, the mechanics, where things could go in the future. Uh, we're not talking about the hype, the FUD, the drama, the rumors that surround everything about the, the founders, the way the, the mint was dropped, the way that whitelists were allocated. We're not going to get into that. We're just going to talk about the project, the Art Gobblers. So the Art Gobblers is a 2000 piece collection already minted out. Uh, there will be a life cycle of the project, which will span over 10 years before we get to the final product. That final product will be a collection of 8,000 art gobblers. Now, how is this going to happen? Each art gobbler will start and is already accumulating goo. Goo is a token representing growth, ownership, optimization. Goo started out at a price higher than ETH. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, but I would not go and buy goo. More and more of the supply will grow every single day. A protocol created by the founders, it's already in place. They're calling it VRGDA or, or Verda. Verda is a well-oiled machine. It's, it's already a tool, it's in place, it's gonna control the project for the next decade. What it will do is control this, both the price and supply of goo, starting at, like I said, a price of over ETH, distributed at hundreds per day. Who knows what the price will be when it's distributed at billions per day. And then for now, blank pages are allocated 69 per day. Uh, they're referring to this as an experimental number just to see how things play out, but they foresee that it'll eventually be around 10 per day. Just to give you an example of how this works, if someone were to go and purchase an art gobbler today, Verda would automatically adjust the price of goo uh, now that it's been spent on an art gobbler. This is all about the community. You know, the price of goo, the price of uh, blank pages, the amount of goo accumulated and spent is all dictated by the community, not by the founders. The ultimate outcome isn't dictated by the founders, it's dictated by the community. So goo can be used in a couple ways. One, it can be used to mint more art gobblers. That's how we'll get to the 8,000 piece collection. As time goes on, people will be able to accumulate more goo, mint art gobblers, and get to that 8,000 piece collection. The other way that you can use goo is to purchase blank pages. Blank pages can be used to create digital art on the Art Gobbler's website. You can go there now and test it yourself. Now, why these blank pages are important, you don't have to draw on them yourselves. You can commission other artists. When these pieces of artwork are finished, they are stored within your Art Gobbler, essentially performing as an art museum. So somebody like me, if I had an Art Gobbler right now, I wouldn't be drawing my own art once I have enough goo to purchase a blank page. I'm actually going to reach out to some of my favorite artists like Brian Brinkman or, or Process Gray. Before I get into the legendary art gobblers, I need to talk really quickly about the speed in which you accrue your goo. You can accrue goo faster by holding more art gobblers. The more you hold, the faster you accrue. And the same thing with goo. The more you hold, the faster you accrue. So holders will have an opportunity to strategically decide how they're gonna create the most value for themselves long-term. Let's get to the legendary art gobblers. Um, while we're talking about speed, legendary art gobblers, they accrue goo two times as fast as all of the other gobblers. And there will only be 10 of them in the entire collection. And they will be randomly distributed over the next decade of the project. We only know how the first one will drop. That will be over auction, and the starting price will be 69 gobblers. That's right. 69 art gobbler NFTs, not goo, not ETH. This is gonna be really exciting. Can't wait to watch it play out. Well, there you have it, folks. This has been the first Spotlight episode of The Lobby featuring the controversial, definitely experimental project by the founder of Rick and Morty, The Art Gobblers. This is your host, Jami. Thanks for stopping by The Lobby. Peace.